All right, everyone, welcome back for another episode. I just worked on another bin of golf balls. As you can see, we're down to two bins, so I haven't even cracked open this one yet. Um, this one looks a little bit more exciting. Looks like more sleeves. It looks like also the guy put all the golf balls for whatever this brand is inside here. Um, but they're not exactly this model. So this is Pinnacle Exception. I guess it's Exception model. Uh, some of these other ones are different. Like this one's Top Flight XL 3000. That one's just Top Flight, Top Flight XL. Um, so they're going to probably be just hit away golf balls aside from like the Titleist ones. Um, I got one more bin to go. Other than that, other than that, it is another day, another garage sale day. So let's make it a fun one. Find some treasure. Who knows? Maybe we'll find blow molds, an airplane prop, or helicopter prop, something else. So let's get out there. Let's make it a fun one. Garage sale, yard sale. Let's do it. Very busy road. Oh, what's this? Golden Supreme. It looks like an old tag. Interesting. Show up so early. Some people still haven't even put out their stuff yet. a train house that's caught on fire. That's weird. Legit, legit. All right, I'll think about that one. I'll grab this one. I think it's what Emmett Smith. walked away with a jersey and a hat today uh, I think that's Emmett Smith right football is really not football and basketball I really don't know that much about but it was really really clean and then the uh, this wind sucks put the bag behind it hopefully it sounds a little better oh jeez in the uh, vintage world that would pass the flick test 
the uh, the jersey, the screen front. Everything was free there. Interesting. Oh, told you to still be trash. Oh. Yeah, I gotta grab the sand right and the chairs. This is kind of missing something. A little rig job. This is kind of cool. I don't. Oh, you're kind of missing the bomb thing. Oh, you're missing the back too. You're missing a lot of things. I feel like a coyote just knocking right over. It is cool though. Really neat, but if you're missing all the other stuff, I feel like it needs to be bolted down or something. A coyote is just gonna knock that thing over. But still pretty cool. I was intending to grab that rather than the chairs, but I guess I'll grab the chairs. Looks like we gotta grab these. Should have brought my RV quite. You can't park in this town with all these people, with the van. I think these are the older ones. No, they're new, but I'll still grab them. They're nice. I think they'll still sell even though they're new. Some things in life, the best things are free. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Place where I got the uh, bar boot chair. So there were this one thing. Got some tires out here. Don't need tires. Hey, another tire. Somebody looked like they grabbed the barber chair, but I saw this. Oh man, what's this? What is this? What is this? The heck? It's missing all the. They took the drawers off or the knobs, and it's missing the bottom piece. Man, that's nice too. That sucks. That's nice. that'd be a nice piece. Now, uh, missing too much for me. Someone else must have grabbed that chair, whatever chair was there. Interesting. Find more things in the trash than you find at yard sales. Do you wanna, um, oh, mom. What? You're gonna have to move your car to hug the other side. I'll do that now. Cause then Renee, you can move the van back there. And so okay, we're getting yeah, three cars back should there. be moved so, you have, so people can see what's in the front of the, uh, yeah. new stuff. Alright, just got some peanut butter cup cookies over there. A little kid was doing a little fundraiser. Gotta support the cause. Support the hustle, support the cause. Peanut butter cup. Kind of hard as a rock though. So I just finished up yard sales. 
This is just more of the stuff that I got from yesterday. Uh, I kind of went through this box. There wasn't really too much else in here. Some old icicles I'll probably take out. Some odds and ends. Got like a doll over there. I don't know. This might be a puzzle. I think I said in my last video I'd go over this a little bit. So that's kind of what I had. Probably, you know, one of the cooler things is this. Uh, aside from the bottles and also this blender. But as from yesterday's trash picking adventure. Oh, kicking stones around. Uh, today was yard sale day. I didn't grab too much out. Um... It's the first day of like a three-day sale, like three-day community sale. Got this in a free pile. Actually, thought it was really nice. It's missing one of the, uh, I don't even know what you call that, Doyle maybe. It says, made by Paris Manufacturer Company. Number 200. Uh, still a nice piece, nice chair. I did pick up one sports jersey. You guys saw the Dallas Cowboys, Emmett Smith. That was $5, but it passes the flick test. You go like that. And, well, you can't hear it because it's bad, but if you flick it, you can really hear a nice solid flick. I don't know. It's in the vintage community world. Um, what else did we grab? Also, one person had a free yard sale. I felt so awkward taking stuff. The very ironic thing with that was probably four years ago, uh, when my van was first having problems, she kept in contact with me and she was actually giving me stuff from other people's yard sales. Like if somebody had a yard sale and there was a bunch of leftovers, she would call me and say, hey, look, this person's having a yard sale. They're done with everything. They don't want it. Come pick up the rest. It's all free. She was having a yard sale, but I don't think she remembered me. Um, it was just one of those things. I'm pretty confident it was her. I mean... Changed her hair color. She was kind of in the corner in the back, so I couldn't really, like, see her, but she was still, like, in the garage. Uh, but everything was free there. So I grabbed all these pots and pans. This grater is pretty nice. We'll have to put that aside. It's an older one. Perfection. I think the township is finally cutting the grass that's on the side of the road on my street. I think with that... You might not be able to hear that, but I can hear it. Some painter's hats as well. Here's a uh, just an older trucker, Alpha, New Jersey. But I like to go through this and kind of sort the metal, separate the metal from the antiques and the stuff that can be sold. Um, other than that, I grabbed one hat. I was at the first stop. He said five bucks for all the hats they had, uh, but unfortunately a lot of them just weren't anything too spectacular. A lot of those floppy hats also seem to not do as well as I thought. I'm also talking, there's a huge echo on these chairs. That's insane. Um, but this is really cool. Look at the embroidery detail on this one. Spent a buck for that. Uh, picked up some older books. This I spent a dollar for. I kind of kind of bought this stuff, this older postcard. Spent a dollar for all of it. I bought it because... Alright, that echo's got to stop. I bought it because I was going to take some stuff out of their free pile, and I didn't want to feel awkward about doing it, which I got all these baseballs for. That might even be a bocce ball. That or a softball. This red one. Bunch of baseballs, some more metal, and lastly, a good old basketball. Uh, for the basketball guy. He says that the guy really needs basketball. He's been doing a lot of projects recently, so uh, picked up another one. That did not go as planned as I thought. And of course, some chairs we found in the trash. Unfortunately, these things are new. Uh, I'm going to try to pop them out and see if they're pretty good. That tractor's getting louder and louder, but other than that, I think it's going to wrap it up before this tractor shows up. Uh, I'm heading to the scrapyard, but I'm signing off here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. There he is. I knew what it was before I even saw it, but that's going to wrap it up here for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe down below for more treasure hunts just like this. I'll catch you guys next time, next adventure. Who knows what we'll get into. And until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.